Good morning and a warm welcome to the students of Srimati Aris Kalaria Primary School English Medium Junagar. My name is Rachi Lakani and today we are going to start with a very interesting topic, chapter number 11, whose name is the United Nations, that is UN. We can also call United Nations UN, that is United Nations or UNO, that is United Nations Organization. Now, in this particular chapter, why there was a need of the international organization to be established for the world? Why was the reason? In this particular chapter, we are going to study. Now, history says that there were two world war. That was the World War One and World War II. In the World War First, it was a terrific situation of the people who are living on the surface of the earth. Now, among the eight planets, only the earth is a planet where the life is possible. So, here on the surface of the earth, this particular World War First took place in which a massive destruction took place. One country was just having the destruction to the other, having the fight with the other countries and there was completely destruction in the World War First. So, to maintain the peace and security, not on a particular country, but all over the world, there was a need of one of the international organization which can maintain and control the particular activities of the people of the world. Now, let us start with the explanation. Why do we need an international organization? That is, international instructions were there. Why there was a need? Now here, machine destruction was caused in most of the countries during the World War First. People, most probably of the world, completely wanted the peace. Whosoever was the part of World War First, the after the World War First, they completely need a peace because it was a benefit not for the country but all over the world. If they are going to have a continuous fight. It is not going to disturb the other countries but they have to also face the insecurity and the problems in their own countries. So there was a need after the World War First, there was a need for an international organization to maintain the peace and security among the people of the world. The idea of an international organization was presented by the president of USA that it's United States of America whose name was Woodrow Wilson. As a result the League of all the people want to have the peace and security among the people of the world not for a single country or not to the two countries but for all over the world and because of that only there was a result to form a League of Nations was established in the year 19 with an objective of maintaining, maintaining peace and cooperation. For a certain period of time, the thing goes smoothly, but later on, the particular powerful country who won in the World War First wanted to have a control over the losing nations who just got a loss in the particular World War First. And slowly and gradually, for a certain period of time, the International League of Nations were able to control the other powerful countries but later on there was after few years as the powerful countries want to show their power to the weaker countries, weaker nations they just started with the World War II in the year 1939. Comparing with the World War First, the World War Second was completely blocked. Just as the massive destruction comparing with the World War First. During in the World War Second uh, First, we don't have the atomic nuclear bombs, but in the World War Second, we were having the particular part, the powerful countries were having the atomic or deadly weapons that was the nuclear bombs or the atomic bombs. And in the World War Second, and comparing with the World War First, it was completely a great destruction. America just thrown an atomic bomb on the part of Germany.
Japan that was Hiroshima and Nagasaki and completely destruction took place in the World War II. Now again there was a need of some international organization to maintain the peace and security among the people of the world. So here again the formation of the United Nations organization that was UNO. In the year 1920 there was the formation of the League of Nations after the World War II to maintain the peace and security. There was again the formation of the UNO that was United Nations organization. Now here diplomats across the world were determined to free the world from the danger of force and the world war. Frankly, D. Roosevelt uh, in this particular League of Nations, Woodrow Wilson was a person who formed the League of Nations in the year after the World War II, the president of the USA that was Franklin D. Roosevelt just put an effort to establish a world organization and as a result on 24th October 1945, UNO that was United Nations Organization was established. During the year 1945, when this particular organization started to obtain the peace and security among the all nations of the world, during that time, 51 nations were the part, were the member of the UNO. Later on, today, the number of the members in the UNO is 193 and we India are a part of the UNO. So slowly and gradually and UNO is still working out to maintain the peace and security among the people of the world. Along with the particular establishment of the UNO in the year 1945, there were the four objectives that should be, uh, that is being implemented by the UNO or the UN. The first objective to having the intention to start the UNO, the first main objective, first of all to maintain international peace and safety, not for the single country but all over the world. To promote the feeling of friendship among member nations, 193 nations who are the part of the UNO, instead of having a fight with one another, there should be a maintenance of uh, friendship among the member nations to solve economic, social, cultural, and humanity relation problems at the international level, not at the national level, not for the country India, not for America, but at the international level, there should be the solving of the problems related to each and every country to seek cooperation and to create a feeling of respect for the human and the human rights and the fundamental rights for the freedom of not a single nation but all over the world who are the part of the UNO. So by this way with the League of Nations to the journey of the UNO they just still also working out for the maintaining the peace and security among the people of the world. Now let us study about the organs of the United Nations. Already we have studied about the objectives to promote the uh, friendship, the safety, security that are the objectives of the UNO. Now what are the, there are the six organs of the United Nations that is Secretariat, General Assembly, Security Council, International Court of Justice, Trusteeship Council, Economic and Social Council. Now what is the work just allotted to the six organs of the UNO? First of all, Secretariat, it, the work of the Secretariat is to implement the decisions taken by the various organs of the UN. General Assembly, the organization of countries to discuss and solve the international issues. Security Council is the work of the safeguarding the international security. The fourth one, International Court of Justice. Solve the dispute among the member nations. 193 nations are there. If there is any problem related to 
any of the countries international court of justice is solving the problem of the member nations trustees uh, trusteeship council have to acquire freedom from the foreign rule and the sixth one that is economic and social council it improves the economic and social conditions for the welfare of the people so by this particular six organs that is secretariat general assembly security council international court of justice trusteeship council economic and social council this six organs are completely working out for the growth for the maintain peace and security for the safety to maintain uh, just friendship among all the nations and to improve socially and economically for the member nations this six organs are working completely so let us uh, now study about the general assembly now what is general assembly general assembly is the biggest organ of the un that is united nations and the other name for the general assembly that is the world parliament the representative of here of the member nations attend it every year this general assembly is taking place and every year 193 nations is having the compulsory to attend this particular sessions general assembly every member nation can send at least five representatives delegates to it we as uh, uh, whosoever is a part of this uh, uno or the united nations each and every country can send five representatives from their own country but at a time of voting whenever there is a voting take place for the president and the vice president or for any of the thing for a single country a single vote is only allowed so here it is written but at a time of voting one nation can cast only the one vote in the meeting the five representative from each and every country is allowed but during the time of voting one nation one vote the general meeting is held every year in, once in a year its member elect whosoever are being there in the particular general assembly your responsibility to elect the president and vice president of the meeting every year once in this particular after the uno is working out in the year 1950 for mrs vijaya lakshmi become the president of this general assembly the assembly presented the universal declaration of human rights on 10th december 1948 now the only the work of the general assembly is to maintain the peace and security among the people who are the member nation it, its work is to give the guidance to the all this by the secretary of security council international court of justice trusteeship council and economic and social council how to work out that is being decided in the general assembly and because of that only it is said to be the biggest organ of the un now the next topic that is security council now among all six organs as the general assembly is the biggest organ this is the important organ of the un now here it is already written it is the most important organ of the un it has total 15 members and out of 15 members five countries that is usa britain france Russia and China are the permanent members they are never going to be dissolved and these five countries are having the veto power also or uh, if what is the meaning of the veto power veto power is a right to deny to say no now among 15 countries 15 members this five members that is USA Britain France Russia China they are allowed they are have the right to use the veto power veto power is a power in which among the five nations five countries five members all the five members for any of the decision which is being passed by the general assembly 
five should be always agree if among all the five members one member is not agree then that is said to be the veto power but this veto power is being allotted to only five per permanent members that is usa britain france russia and the china on apart from that the 10 members are elected for a term of 2 years by a general assembly and we india become the temporary member many a times in the security council in the temporary as a temporary member so this five is always have the right to have the veto power if they are not agree they can use the veto power apart from that the security council enjoys tremendous power to maintain peace and security in the world the head the person who is the head of the security council is known as the secretary general he is appointed by the general assembly at the recommendation of the security council so here by this way we can we come to know that what is the importance of the security council as the five members the five nations can never be dissolved but every two years the other 10 members are getting a chance to be a part of the security council now let us study about the next topic that is the special organization of the united nation now the intention to start with the united nation as an international organization they are completely working out that whosoever is the member nation their economy their social political should improve more and more so here let us study about the organization which is being started by the un the first one that is world health organization that is double the short form of the world health organization is who headquarter that is geneva here what is the major work done by the who make efforts to improve the physical and mental health of the people of not a particular country but all over the world the second one is united nations educational scientific and cultural organization in a short we can say unesco uh, its headquarter is in paris the work of this particular unesco is to contribute peace and security by promoting international collaboration through education science and culture so by this way unesco is working out to improve people of the nation economically politically and the socially the third one that is international labor organization the short form for this particular organization that is ILO headquarters is in Geneva to promote the right at work encourage decent employment opportunities so the work of the ILO that is international labor organization to promote more and more people to get more and more uh, opportunity for the employment now let us study about the next organization that is united nation international children's emergency fund that is unicef the headquarter of this unicef is in the new york now the work which is being done by the unicef is to provide long term development assistance to children and the mothers for the developing nations the particular developing nations where the children and mother are not getting the nutritious food nutritious diet the work of the unicef is to provide them the nutritious food to the mother and the children the fifth one that is food and agriculture organization that is fao headquarter is in, it is in the rome the work of the fao is to ensure that people get regular supply of food and by this way they are promoting more and more agriculture and the particular one the last one that is world bank the short form that is wb the headquarter is in washington dc to provide the work of the world bank to 
provide low interest of loan, interest free credits and grant uh, the grants to the particular developing nation. So by this way, the World Bank is helping out the developing nation to move towards the path of the developed nation. Now the last topic of this chapter that is cooperation as we are the part of the UNO or the United Nation, what is the contribution of our country India towards the UN. Now the first point, India has adopted this strategy of solving disputes with other countries to, through the United Nations. We, their case, uh, just adopt the policy of the war always whenever we have any of the problems to the other countries, we used to solve the particular disputes with the help of the UN or the United Nations. Now here, India has contributed on a large scale to maintain the peacekeeping forces of the UN by sending soldiers whenever required, wherever to maintain the peace, security, safety and brotherhood among the nation, neighbor nation, wherever this particular country, UN needs a facility or a supply of the soldiers, a need of the soldiers, we are always ready to uh, just send our soldiers to maintain the peace and security in the world. India has sent a team of doctors to treat the wounded soldier in the Korean War. During a time of the Korean War, when the soldiers get injured, with a team of the doctors we have sent to have the treatment for the soldiers. Indian delegates on various posts in the UN have contributed to the welfare with our knowledge, with our experience. Many of the Indians are working as an employee as a part of the UN. The great ideals of Panchashi are a gift of India to the world. Now here we all are familiar during the early ages and now we are completely the all, all, all eight planets only the earth is a planet where the life is possible. Always the reason for the world war one, for the world war two, the reason behind this world war two maintain the particular power among the people from uh, to have the powers in the end that is we the only people are destroying the peace and security of the world so here uh, ju ju just the establishment of the world and uh, health or uh, this uh, uh, international organization that is UN United Nation is only to maintain the peace and security among the people among the world so here if to just support the reason behind the UN is to just have peace and security for the people of the world because we are completely knowing that the earth is the planet where life is possible so if each and every country realize their mistake we are spending crores of rupees for the uh, uh, just developing the nuclear bombs deadly weapons to destroy the other countries instead of utilizing that crores of rupees in the uh, uh, deadly weapons for the productions of the deadly weapons if we start stopping that utilizing of the rupees crores of rupees in that particular investment of the deadly weapons we should utilize the particular rupees for the development of the nation so here i am ending with the topic let us have a short summary of the chapter now we have studied about the united nations in the year 1920 woodrow wilson was a person a president of the us there was a first world war after the first world war the people of the world admired and they started thinking that there should be one international organization to maintain the peace and security among the people of not a singular single country but all over the world so in the year 1920 with the president of Woodrow Wilson there was the establishment of the League of Nations for a certain period of time things goes on smoothly but after few 
India at a certain period of time, there were the powerful countries who want to establish their more power on the weaker countries and because of that only there was the second world war. Comparing with the first world war, the second world war was completely having more and more destruction. During that time, the countries, powerful countries were having the atomic nuclear bombs and America have already released the one atomic bomb on the Japan that was the part of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So later on after the World War II, there was the, the diplomats decided to have the international organization for the peace and security of the people. So Mr. Roosevelt, the president of the USA started with the UNO that is United Nations Organization. Later on when it was being started, it was having 51 members. Later on it was nowadays it is having 193 nation and we India is also a part of the UN. Then we have studied about the objectives. The objectives, the reason behind starting the particular or uh, this organization is to maintain peace, security, friendship, to improve the social, economical life of the political life of the people of the world. There was the starting of the war of United Nations. Then we have studied about the six main organs of the United Nations who are completely working out for the growth and to maintain the peace and security among the people. Then we have studied about the General Assembly which is the biggest organ of the United Nations which is working. Every year there is the General Assembly for each and every nation there are five representatives representing the particular country but during the time of the war one country, one war in the year 1953-54 our president and uh, Mrs. Vijaya Pandit become the president of the United Nations. Every year there is the new vice president and the president for the general assembly. In the particular human universal declaration there was the human rights decided by the general assembly. Then we have studied about security council. Security council is an important organ of the UNO or the United Nations. In that particular United Nations, the general, in the Security Council, there are 15 members in which the five members are permanent and the 10 members are temporary. Every two years, they are being changing, and the head of these particularly Security Council is known as General Secretary. All the main powers are being enjoyed by the Security Council. Then we have st studied about the veto power. Veto power is a power. The five members who are the permanent members have the right to use the veto power. If among the five members, one member is disliking the particular law which is being made by the General Assembly, if they are using the veto power, they are that, that particular law is considered to be the cancer. So among only five members, permanent members are able to use the veto power. Then we have studied about this particular different organization which is being started by the UN, uh, UNO or the United Nations for the workout of the uh, world to have, to maintain the peace and security among the people. Now, we the Indians are always working out for the, we as a part of the UNO or the United Nations working out to have the cooperation with the other countries. So here I am ending my topic. Thank you and have a nice day.